honor, majesty, power, authority, and majesty to the maker of the heavens and the heart, the father of our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ in whom we have our being, in whom we live, in him we conquer and we enjoy the dominion that he has released from the day one that he created humanity. I greet you all in Jesus' name. My name is Reverend Anthony Mwandi of the Redeemed Gospel Church. Uh, here in the city of Nairobi, Kenya, we are situated along Jogo Road, right opposite the Makandara Railway Station, and I welcome you with joy, with, uh, you know, with love, and with anticipation that the good God has been, you know, good into your life. You know, forever and ever the Lord is good. Hallelujah. And His mercies endures forever. Oh, let all nation, all ye people come unto Him with dancing and praises and rejoicing. For His works are good in all generations from eternity to eternity, from generations to generation. May you enjoy the peace of God like a river. And may the good God, you know, raise you to a new level of love for him. May the good God raise you in a level of dominion. Because that is the original blueprint of the one who made you. That you may never be defeated. Oh, hallelujah. Because when the Lord arises, his enemies must be scattered. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord may arise in your situation and the enemies be scattered. Scattered in the name of the Lord, servant of the Lord, may the King of Kings arise in your ministry, and may that stagnation be broken away, and may you rise to a new level, may you rise to a new level of affluence, may you rise to a new level of power, may you rise unto a new level of dominion in the mighty name of Jesus and declare speed upon your life, the thing that you have tried to do for many years prophetically I come unto you hearing this moment of time that God is releasing a speed he is releasing a speed upon your life. And the thing that you pursued for years, for five years, you're going to attain them in a record seven months. That the God of heavens may be called a God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear parent, you've been struggling with your children, trying to bring them under land in obedience to no avail. I come unto you as a prophet of God that God of heavens is going to release a grace upon your life and upon your family that obedience is going to flow in your, the lives of your children just like magic because God has begun and God has vowed to do a new thing upon your life in the name of Jesus. May you accompany me in the word of God this moment of time that we may share to together and the Lord God is going to bless your life. The Bible says in Genesis 1 27 that so God created man in his own image. Oh hallelujah. That means that you have been meant not just without a plan. Who is an engineer? Who is the engineer? Who is able to build a house without first having an architect 
behind the works. You know, the act must draw and a good architectural drawing to say this is how the finished house shall look like. And therefore the Bible says what? And God created man in according in accordance to his own image. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. So you were created in accordance. You were created in a pattern. You were created in a structure, in a given format. You were, you were created not of a corruptible format, but you were created in an in immortal, eternal, immutable format of God himself. He says that God created man in his own image. Oh, hallelujah to the name of the living God. Oh, I love the image of God. You know, when we talk about image, we, we mean, you know, we, 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 uh, we talk about substance. You know, we talk about the, um, um, you know, the formation. We talk about the power. You know, we talk about, you know, the strength. So the image. I hear people talking about protecting their image. In other words, it means they protect their name. They protect their stature. They protect, you know, their, their um, how... You know, how the, um, you know, the value, they protect the value. Ah, uh -huh. the value that they, they you know, uh, they, 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 they uphold. When we talk about image, we talk about, you know, the influence. We talk about the ability. We talk about, you know, the, uh, the capacity that this such kind of an organization, when we say, uh, you know, the image of that kind of an organization, you know, it is very hard to find, you know, uh, an organization changing its colors, changing its logo, uh -huh, changing its texture, its products. You know, there are multinationals today in the present world. They are known by a sudden image. Aha! You don't need to see a computer. You just need to see the logo that is pasted on the computer and say, I want that one. Why? Because of the image of that brand. When we talk about an image, we mean a brand. Oh, hallelujah. And therefore, when we talk about God creating man, God creating you in his own image, we mean that he created you in his own brand, in, in his own value, in his own capacity. Oh, hallelujah. And authority, the image of God is upon somebody. You are listening to me. And in his own likeness, Created he them in his own likeness. In his own likeness. Then what, what happened? Number 20, 20 um, you know, 28 says what? And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Oh, and have dominion over over the fish of the sea and over the vowel of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. 
Oh, hallelujah. So God is a God of dominion. God is a God of authority. God is a God of power. God is a God of creation. God is the God of all eternity. And therefore he created man that man may also be a God here on the earth. That's why Jesus says, now as you pray, pray like this, that now thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, as God ruled in the heavens, so man to rule upon the earth. That was the original plan of God for man. And therefore, God be glorified in our generation. We are able to hear this revelation that God has meant us to be as he is in the heavens. For you are God's. For you are gods and the sons of the most high. For you were created a little lower than the angels. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the original translation of that scripture says, and for you were created, you know, for you created, you always men, for you created him a little lower than Elohim. You know, he created, you know, he created man a little lower than Elohim. Elohim is the official name of God, not really angels as some translations talk about. And therefore, God created, you know, the, his nature in us. He created his, his image in us. And therefore, this is a image that even the Paul talks about and says, let this mind... That was in Christ to be also in you. Oh, we are able to have the mind of Christ. I declare my hearer, may you embrace the mind of Christ. When you have the mind of Christ, then you are able to share a little lower knowledge than Elohim. You are able to know things without being told of them. That's why the, the fruit of the Spirit worketh in us to show the capacity that God or as put and planted in us. We are able to know to some measure because we have the mind of Christ. We are able to have the, you know, the word of knowledge because we have the, you know, some capacity of the image of God. We are able to have some word of wisdom because the always God rules upon us. Jesus himself said what? He said, if you love me, then you will be loved by my father. And I will come and make an habitation in you. I will come in him and my father together with him. I will come and abound in you. Make an habitation in you. And when God reigns and rules and lives in us, we are able to partake the wisdom of God. We are able to partake the power of God. We are able to walk in power over the wickedness of this present world. We are able to walk over the powers of demons and the spirits of dark world. Not by power, not by mighty, but by the spirit of the living God who rules and abounds in us. Somebody give me an amen from wherever you are watching from. To the Lord God Almighty be glorified now and forevermore. The Lord blessed them and they told them to have dominion. Where? In the fish. Look at verse number 28. Have dominion over the fish of the sea. My viewer, I want you to pause a bit. It will, if you take it literally, you will be lost, my friend. If there is much more than tilapia, the shark, the whales, and all other fishes found in the sea. When God talks about you have dominion over the, the fish of the sea, the, that is more vingarative than literal. Why? Because 
Now I've come to learn that there is much more in the dominion over the seas. You know, Isaiah talks about, you know, wealth of the sea in Isaiah chapter number 60. And verse number 5, he says, then you will look. That is where he says, you know, arise and shine for the light has come. Arise and shine for your light. Everyone who is listening to me as a light upon his life. There is still a light. Whether you are in darkness, whether you are in night situation, there is a still a light that belongs unto you. May you say, Lord, release my light to come my way. And therefore, when the light comes upon you, look at verse number five. It says, then, you know, then is the ultimate place of arrival. Then is the goal, the, you know, the goal won, you know, the place of arrival. It says, then you will look and run and be radiant, be illuminated, be bright. Be the shining one and declare you are a scholar. May your light make you radiant. You are looking for promotion in your workplace. You are believing God for a promotion and declare radiance upon your CV, upon your performance, upon the work of your hands so that the power, the real result of the dominion may be actualized in your life in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Then you will look, be radiant, and your heart will tremble and will swell with joy because the riches of the sea will be brought unto you. You will be radiant. Let me tell you, there are some riches that when they come upon you, people will see some radiance upon your face and say something new must be happening unto you. And God said, now take dominion over the fish of the sea. Hallelujah. I this the, the fish of the sea has got something to do with the international, international economies. You know, the fish of the sea has something to do with the blue, you know, the, you know, the blue economy has got something to do with, you know, more about fishing. It has got something to do with the tourism. It has got something to do with the beaches. It has got something to do, you know, you know, uh, the exploit, exploitation of the resources sources that are found because of these sea, you know, sea economies. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. You know, the preservation, you know, the, 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 the fish of the sea has got something to do with the preservation regeneration, the marine, you know, the maritime economies, hotels, tourism, exploitation, exploration, uh, you know, exploitation of the resources that accompany, you know, the coastal lines and the deep seas and the high seas to the glory and the honor of the living God. Have dominion over the fish of the sea. And number two, have of dominion over the vowel of the hair. I want to say there is much more than the bars that they fly. Nowadays, there are more. You know, there are the space economy. There is the e-economy. You know, there is the e-commerce. You know, these are some of the things that they fly in the space. I want to say there are frequencies. There are air times. Today, I'm hearing people. They say, you know, they live by selling air time. Oh, hallelujah. May you, you know, may you grasp, may you grasp the power of dominion and the rule over the space and be able to profit and be able. I'm reaching you today because there is a dominion over the hair. 
you know, I'm using airwaves to reach you. I'm using the airwaves to reach many kilometers, many miles that I cannot, I cannot, you know, I cannot reach physically. But because of the power of dominion, you are able to exploit, you are able to reach, you are able to make, you know, an advantage and to capitalize on the things that fly in the air. In the mighty name of the Lord, I release a grace this moment of time. May you have dominion May you walk in dominion in the name of Jesus. May you capitalize on waves, frequencies, hair times, media, and everything that works in the space economy in the mighty name of the Lord. You know, you know, when we talk about space economy, we talk, you know, this is the full range of activities and the use of resources that create and provide value and benefits to human beings in the course of the you know, exploring, understanding, managing, and utilizing the space. Oh, the God of heavens has blessed you. He has blessed you. And he has released you that you may be fruitful. Why did he bless you? That you may be fruitful. You are blessed, my brother, my sister. Be ye fruitful. You are fruitful. Be multiplied. You are multiplied. May you replenish at the same time. You are replenished. May you subdue the worlds that surround you you and have dominion. May I pray with you. You are there. You are saying whatever I do, I don't seem to, uh, you know, to take charge, to be in charge, to have the authority. You know, the Bible says and Jesus sent them, you know, they, you know, they, them, you know, two by two and they gave them power over the powers of darkness and they went the casting out devils. I want to say these are the effects of dominion. May you walk in power in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I want to pray together with you. Father in Jesus' name, I pray for my viewer. They have desired that they may walk in power. They may walk in fullness of dominion. My Father and my God, I pray from today that there shall be fruitfulness. There's going to be multiplication. There's going to be replenishing. There's going to be subduing effects. And there's going to be dominion in the name of the Lord. You're not born again. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you a sinner. Forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I will live for you. From today, I will live a righteous life and to dominion into the service of the kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord God bless you so much. You can reach us through the numbers appearing in the screen. You can chat us. You can text us. You can call us. You can email us and we will be glad to pray with you. We will be glad to pray for the sick and we will believe God of dominion that the aching body, the broken, you know, our tissues are going to be meant, meant again to the glory of the living God and the owner of his holy name. Be blessed. And be encouraged. May we meet again the same time next week to the glory of the Father. I love you. The Lord loves you.